He's the cleanest player in the draft, which means he doesn't have any holes in him. He's got character. He's got production at the highest level. That's another reason he was picked number five overall. One of the outstanding punt return men in college football. If you need a play, Patrick Peterson can make it for you. Four punt returns for touchdowns. He has a knack for taking it to the house. He's deep. He's had one return for a touchdown this season, 89 yards. The opening game of the season. Peterson takes, it, takes off and breaks one tackle and another. Outstanding return by Peterson. He's still going. Sam, when I saw this young man at the combine and watched his workout, then looked at the tape, I had him number one on my draft board. The rookie first round draft pick, Patrick Peterson, his second punt return for a touchdown. First team to score wins the game. Fourth quarter timing. Each team has two team timeouts. Rams win the toss. They will receive in regular season play. First team to score wins. Good high kick. Peterson looks around. Patrick Peterson's been there, done that. He's not scared. Turns it upfield. Patrick Peterson. 6'2", 210, has the ability to be a two-way threat as a corner and also as a kick return. Patrick Peterson wins it for the Cardinals. The incredible rookie, Patrick Peterson, with his third punt return for a touchdown this season. That one, 99 yards. Patrick Peterson has three punt returns for touchdowns this season. One against the Rams, a game winner. Cuts it back. Turns it upfield. And Peterson is going again. It's number four of the season for Patrick Peterson. He has been remarkable as a punt returner, but now his game is evolving as he develops into a top flight corner in the National Football League. Patrick Peterson. Hard hit by Patrick Peterson. And starting with two tight ends, both lining up to the right side. This is a bad man now. We're just scratching the surface of how effective he's going to be on defense. Steps away from pressure and throws down the field. Now, this guy has the best hand-eye coordination that I've seen coming out of college since a guy named Deion Sanders. Mm -hmm. It's intercepted. What an unbelievable play by Patrick Peterson. What do you, what do you know you're in store for this week? A great matchup. Um, you know, it's always intriguing to go against, go up against Calvin Johnson. For Calvin Johnson, it's intercepted. Patrick Peterson has a takeaway. Patrick Peterson, I mean, every team he play against, he take on that challenge and go out and be a number one receiver. Now, I don't put people with Deion Sanders. Mm. He's the best to ever play the position. But he has that instinct and trait. Athletically, maybe the best corner in the National Football League. Athletically. Interception number six, I believe. No, that's his number seven, seven on, the, on the year for Patrick that's Peterson. Patrick Peterson! He's back to the 15 and down to the 13. They gambled with a pass, and Peterson picked it off. The one man you do not want to mess with. And, and I've always said, when you're a corner, you're actually playing against two people. You're playing against a receiver and a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a tough job, and with the rules and the way the league has opened up, bam! Puts him at second and long. Much more challenging down. On second and nine, Davis side arms it. It's tipped away. 